my channel. No, welcome back to my eh, 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 eh. All right, here we go. Let's get it. Okay. Welcome back to my channel. So happy to have you back. This is going to be an extension off of my How I Lost 50 Pounds video that I posted a couple weeks ago. In that video, I talked about, I made a quick little mention at the end that um, I lost the last 15 pounds pretty quickly in like three weeks eating one meal a day. I've been really enjoying it. I have been practicing intermittent fasting for a long time now, for years now. Um, and I love it. One meal a day is kind of like an extreme version of intermittent fasting because you're eating all of your day's calories in one hour and then you're just fasting the other 23 hours in a day. I started off trying to do the one meal a day thing and what I found was I got extremely bloated and after my meal, pretty much after I ate, I really couldn't do anything or go anywhere because I felt like my belly was just so expanded and so full and I kind of felt like I was stuffing myself and I kind of felt like it was an extension of my binge eating which if you watched a few of my videos before this you already know that I have dealt with extreme binge eating and I just didn't want to be practicing anything that reminded me of that lifestyle, of the binging lifestyle. So I sat down, pen and paper. I said, okay, so how can I get my 1,200 calories in one meal without feeling extremely bloated, without feeling like my belly is always expanded? I find that some foods just have you bloated, period. You'll be bloated through the day. Even if you just had a 200 calorie meal, you can be bloated for the rest of the day, or you could even wake up bloated the next day. So this meal that I'm about to show you is what I ate for 20 days straight, and I ended up going from like a little over 175 to where I am now, which is 162. And I've been sitting at 162 for a couple of weeks now been enjoying life, going out, drinking, eating pizza, and I feel good. I feel good. I look amazing. I haven't been overdoing it. I really feel like I am creating a healthy relationship with food to where I can eat some of the foods I enjoy without going way too overboard. One plate meal every day, and I did it 10 days on. I had one day where I kind of had, I guess, a cheat meal, but still conscious of the calories. So I had a cheat meal in the middle and then I went another 10 days and that's how I lost about, I guess you could say a little over half pound a day. Ultimately, the, the idea behind this one meal a day is instead of low calorie foods in bulk where I have to eat a lot of them in order to get to my 1200 calories, I'm doing low volume, high calorie foods. I really wanted to put some stress on this piece for you guys. For many people, I can definitely understand that this can get boring really quick. I mean, it's a tasty, fresh, delicious meal, but I do understand that eating the exact same thing every day can get boring. You're only doing it for a, a, like a small amount of time, and you're doing it for a reason. Instead of looking at food as something to enjoy, per se, or like something to do, you're literally just looking at it like, okay, it's tasty, and it's, um, you know, feeding my body, and it's, and I'm just using it as fuel and energy, and that's how I'm going to see it for this 21-day period type of thing. After this video, I'm going to do another video sharing the exercise portion. Now, I don't know if it'll be the very next video, but it'll be coming up soon. Either this week or next week, I'll do what, how I exercised in that 21-day period to lose over a half a pound a day. So we're gonna start off with a 12 ounce can of tuna. You can use chicken if you want. It tastes just as delicious. No matter which one you choose to use, just make sure that you drain it fully. Get it as drained as possible. You want this tuna to be dry, dry, dry. You're gonna need one slice of bread, four tablespoons of honey, salt and some pepper. four tablespoons of mayonnaise, one whole avocado. Add your drained tuna into a bowl. One of the plastic bowls with the lids works best because you're gonna end up 
putting the leftovers in the fridge anyway, so might as well mix it up in the plastic bowl. It's important that you remember that you can always add, but you can't take away. So when you're adding your honey, your mayonnaise, salt, and pepper, start with a little bit. I'd say add two, two or three tablespoons of mayonnaise and then two or three tablespoons of honey and stir it up taste it or see if it's the texture and consistency that you like and then if you want you can always add another tablespoon at a time so that's what you see me doing here I added three tablespoons of honey three tablespoons of mayonnaise some salt and pepper stirred it up and then you'll see here in a second I'm gonna add another tablespoon of honey and another tablespoon of mayonnaise making four tablespoons each Once your tuna is at the perfect consistency for you, you're gonna get a half cup and fill it with tuna. So I've made this enough to know that um, it yields three servings. A serving is one half cup. So this is gonna be enough. One of these 12 ounce cans is gonna give you enough for three days of this meal. Fill the half cup with tuna and then set it to the side. Take your avocado and cut it in half. Take one half and cut it into cubes and then put that to the side and then peel the other half. Put the peeled half in a bowl and mash it up. And when you're done mashing it up, set that to the side. I'm gonna go ahead and pop my bread in the toaster while I build my salad. I love using romaine lettuce. It's my favorite to use in salads, but I know um, spinach is really great in salads. That would be a great leafy green to use. On top of that, I'm putting one whole tomato. On this day, I used a medium-sized tomato, but even when I have large tomatoes, I still chop the whole thing up and put it on the salad. And then I take my sliced half of an avocado and put that on top. So spread your mashed avocado over your toast, over both halves of your toast.
and then top that with your delicious honey tuna. I'm adding one serving of mixed cheddar cheese uh, and one serving is one third cup and that's about 110 calories. And then I add my favorite dressing, which is ranch. And I'm doing one serving of ranch because with the tomato and the avocado, it keeps it nice and moist so you don't have to worry about having a dry salad. I'm eating this with a side of one serving of almonds and that puts me right around my 1200 calories for the day. You see what I mean? It's fresh, it's healthy, it's delicious. It is nutrient dense, okay? And it's calorie dense because we know that avocados are very high in calorie but they're only about this size. And pretty much everything on that plate is fairly easy to digest that's why i don't experience bloating what i love about it is i can eat the foods that i like you know what i mean if you want some ranch you want some cheese you know what i mean go ahead have at it i feel satiated throughout the day i usually eat at two o'clock from two from two to three o'clock and i stay satiated throughout the day maybe getting close to bedtime i might start feeling a little bit hungry but my mind at that point is just like there's no way that I want to go to bed with food in my stomach. I have good energy, I want to say that too, because often I do a second workout at night, which, like I said, I will share with you guys what I do. I, yeah, I'll, share, I'll share with you guys what I do. I do split my workouts um, into two pieces, a morning and an evening workout, but I'll share that with you in another video coming very soon, I promise. Um, but yeah, when I do my workouts at night, that's usually my like beast mode workout, and I have full energy, full energy to do it. And I'm not bloated and I don't feel heavy and stuffed and full and embarrassed like, ooh, do I want to wear this crop top to the gym because I just ate and, you know, it's the evening. No, I feel flat. I promise you, okay, that if you eat this one meal a day with this sort of um, formula in mind, you know, having a uh, calorie dense food with low volume, you will have a flat stomach. I'm dead serious. Like your stomach will be on flat. Your stomach will be as flat as it could be. Let me just put it like that. You'll be experiencing this after the first seven days for sure. But you want to go 10 days and then you can have one day off in the middle and then go another 10 days. Okay. And you want to make sure you fast, have your one meal, make sure that it's calorie dense, low volume. Okay. I feel like I sustain energy too with this one meal and I think it's because, and I did mention this in the last video too, I always have done low carb, but I've allowed myself now, like I showed you in the video, one slice of bread or a half cup of rice with that one meal. And I feel like the carbs in that, they give me more energy as well as the honey and the tuna. I feel like that also gives me energy and it sustains me through the day and through my evening workout, which is hours after I eat. Easily digested, easily managed. I mean, it's just wonderful. And you always feel good. You always feel good, I'm telling you. So give this a try, you guys. I think you're gonna love it. I just, just got done eating what I just showed you guys and I feel so small, like just so small. <laughs> Just, I feel like I have a flat stomach at all times. I never feel like full and bloated and heavy and weighted. I never get that feeling. So, I think that's it. That's all I wanted to share with you guys today. So, yeah. And last notes is just like, yeah, your stomach's going to be super flat and you're going to lose weight fast because you can burn this stuff off quickly. And, yes, I know that you have to partner it with a good workout regimen, which you got to subscribe right now. Hit subscribe now because I will be dropping my workout regimen, what I did in that 21-day period to lose that uh, over a half pound a day. I know that I drop these videos and I'm giving you tons of quality information that if you apply it, you are going to win. 
but I also am fully aware that a lot of you girls, you reach out to me in my DMs on Instagram, and you reach out even in the comments below these videos, and you say, where do I start? I'm not sure how to stay motivated, and you, you know, you tell me, you kind of sing a little bit of your life. If you want one-on-one -on -one help, feel free to reach out. I am taking one-on-one -on -one clients to help you get started and take your fitness to the next level, okay? So don't be shy. I am taking clients. All that information will be below. You can email me. You can DM me. You can reach out on Facebook. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Give the video a thumbs up. And do not forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And always remember to take care of yourself. See you next time.